Welcome, everyone, to Exciting Archaeology News. In this episode, we're journeying to the mysterious ruins of Puma Punku, nestled within the t one location at the very heart of western Bolivia. This sacred site, obscured by the mists of antiquity, traces its lineage back to 536 A.D. Together, we shall tear away the veils of time, unearthing a forgotten jewel that bears witness to an ancient brilliance. Before we dive into this epic quest, remember to click the subscribe button to uncover unimaginable mysteries, one ancient stone at a time. Come, enter the fascinating realm of Puma Punku, a name ringing with the strength of the legendary Puma. Echoing through time, Inca legends tell us that t one might be the cradle where the world's very essence was crafted. But the ravages of time, the thieving hands of bandits, and the unceasing march of nature has transformed this place into a cryptic enigma. Yet, out of the shadows springs a story of creative genius immortalized in stone. Picture vast blocks spanning over seven meters and tipping the scales at an astonishing 130 tons. The fusion of red sandstone and volcanic rock creates mesmerizing designs, enduring through countless centuries. The skills of these age-old builders stand etched in eternity, each detail sculpted to perfection. These sacred stones are a marvel of expertise. With flat, unbroken surfaces and corners with perfect right angles, they are a sight to behold. Each block is decorated with details as complex as a finely spun cobweb. Lines carve across them, intersecting at precise points, and hollowed circles puncture the stone, embodying the very soul of excellence. These massive blocks are like pieces of a giant jigsaw puzzle, fitting together in an interplay that's nothing short of cosmic artistry. It's a dance of precision as ancient engineers strive to align each piece with the solid earth beneath. Hidden from sight lie clues to a highly advanced society. Water channels, hydraulic wonders, and sanitation routes. A culture far ahead of its time, their wisdom remains marked forever in rock. Then, in the cold month of December 2018, modern scholars breathe fresh life into this age-old mystery. Using 3D printing technology, they reconstructed the phenomenal structure at a scale that twisted our understanding of reality, representing a mere fraction of its true splendor. Led by Alexa Vranich and a brave team of archaeological explorers, they set off on an adventurous endeavor, fitting together the pieces of this elaborate puzzle. The fruits of their labor culminated in a breathtaking recreation of Puma Punku. The mystery deepens as the veil is drawn back, revealing Puma Punku in all of its breathtaking complexity. A vast expanse filled with plazas, interconnected ramps, and a magnificent T-shaped platform stands tall. Gateways and apertures carved from single immense stones invite us to peer into history to experience the magnificence of a bygone era. Each stone positioned tells a silent tale, echoing the resolute spirit of ancient dreamers and builders. But rewind to 2006, when a well-intentioned effort was made to resurrect the sacred site of Pumapunku. The outcome was perplexing and unsettling. The site's condition worsened. When the dust cleared, the harsh reality surfaced. Not one stone remained in its intended place. Blocks were moved, some vanished forever, and many bore the harsh marks of deep damage. A sorrowful story unfolded, a chronicle of despair inscribed in every misplaced rock. Fast forward to December 13, 2018, when the Journal of Heritage Science unveiled the Chronicles of Knowledge. Here, the well-respected researcher Brian Foster penned the adventures of exploration and discovery. With a curiosity that knew no bounds, he wandered the hallowed paths of Pumapunku, seeking to uncover its hidden truths. A wealth of insights awaited, brought together by detailed study and a love for the mystery. However, questions linger, doubts that shadow the halls of history. Traditional records place Pumapunku's birth around 536 AD, but some researchers hint at an even older origin, a story crafted by a forgotten civilization predating known history. The neighboring Tiwanaku site bears evidence of this hidden lineage. Despite these temporal debates, a riddle remains. The story of the block's creation, journey, and transformation stays veiled in mystery. But fear not, dear explorers of the truth, for within this maze of questions may lie a discovery that shakes the very pillars of understanding. Enter the scholars Joseph Davidovitz, Louis Huberman, and Ralph Davidovitz, whose work shines as a beacon of wisdom. They authored the illuminating paper, 
ancient organo-mineral geopolymer in South American monuments, organic matter in andesite stone, SEM, and petrographic evidence. A melody of words composed by minds attuned to the hidden secrets cradled by the earth. As we wander through these textual pathways, we should remember that Pumapunku conceals more than what is visible to the eye. Varied and intricate, the H-blocks stand as quiet guardians of secrets, their beginnings covered in the clouds of uncertainty. Carved from andesite, a rock forged in the Earth's fiery core, the H-blocks stand as witnesses to nature's magnificence and the creativity of human craft. Their surfaces, refined to a smooth touch, resist the natural roughness of rough stone. Right angles merge flawlessly, a dance of accuracy embedded into their existence. The mystery deepens. Were these marvels really sculpted by basic stone implements? This question, raised by many, beckons the curious to explore different possibilities. But where do history's whispers and the loud proclamations of science meet or part ways? Doubt is the emblem of sharp minds, and a group of scholars questions the idea. The belief that mere primitive tools crafted such intricate beauty strikes them as unlikely, bordering on fantasy. But in the maze of learning, alternative explanations rarely come adorned with firm proof. Uncertainty cloaks this debate, stitched together with the threads of conjecture and skepticism. Then, like a sudden revelation, scientific exploration parts all these clouds of mystery. Using a scanning electron microscope, a modern tool of wisdom, researchers looked deep into the andesite's makeup. What they found was astonishing and unexpected. Organic components such as carbon and nitrogen, along with foundational minerals, were found embedded in the rock's core. This nearly unbelievable discovery rocked conventional thinking. A volcanic stone marked by the signature of life hinted at the possibility that it might be a man-made creation, a geopolymer molded by ancient artisans' hands. In the records of 2018, a new discovery dawned as scientific pioneers set out to uncover Pumapunku's age-old secret. With petrographic analysis as their guide, they embarked on a path that would challenge established understanding. What emerged was a revelation that forever altered the story of Pumapunku's inception. Their detailed examination focused on the sandstone quarries and the immense blocks themselves. A scholarly paper was born, filled with evidence as detailed as the carvings in the stone. The truth was revealed. The sandstone blocks transcending mere natural artistry carried the hallmark of human creativity. The sandstone, resembling grains from the Kalamalka geological site, was found cemented in a formless embrace, a polymer matrix molded by human skill. Yet, the story twisted, taking on the intrigue of an age-old legend. A scarce material, natron, sourced from Laguna Cachi in Alto Plano, Bolivia, surfaced as an unexpected element in this grand design. With this clue, the riddle of the immense sandstone blocks began to untangle, showcasing the fusion of ancient skill and innovation. Still, enigmas linger, casting shadows like unseen hands over the andesite age blocks. The age-old claim traces their birth to Mount Capia's fiery core near Lake Titicaca. But skepticism prevails as no research has ventured into the core of these blocks, whether shaped by tools or untouched, leaving questions unanswered and mysteries intact. The intrepid scholars took a daring leap, venturing outside the boundaries of Pumapunku to collect samples of andesite, a type of volcanic rock. They turned to a scanning electron microscope, a tool akin to a time-traveling seer, to explore the intricacies of these massive crystals. But, rather than finding signs of polishing or carving, they discovered small, meticulously formed holes dotting the surface. Upon examining thin sections, the investigators found a chorus of minerals such as plagia cloths, biotite mica, and pyroxene, all extraordinary components of this rock. However, an unexpected note sounded in the harmony. A mysterious, amorphous substance, colored light brown and resembling rubber. Unlike a crystal or mineral, this was a profound anomaly in the geological story. Tests revealed that this substance was organic, composed of carbon, nitrogen, and mineral elements with no traces of pollution or contamination. It was a paradoxical fusion of organic and volcanic matter, defying the laws of geology. What's more, this wasn't an isolated occurrence, but a theme recurring across the samples. A profound revelation, poised to rewrite history, emerged from the relentless inquiry of our explorers. 
They proposed a groundbreaking hypothesis. The puzzling andesite blocks were not merely volcanic creations, but man-made ceramics. Their study revealed an interplay of organic compounds, suggesting a unique blend of plant and animal matter with minerals, resulting in an organo-mineral fusion that transcended conventional geology. Imagine the grand saga of Puma Punku's creation, where ancient architects transported volcanic tuff from Mount Capia. There, they skillfully combined it with local biomass, giving birth to a new kind of stone. These master artisans left their legacy, not through sheer force, but through the delicate art of creation. In the scholarly paper, authored by Davidovitz, Tudorman, and Davidovitz, a rich fabric of discoveries unfolded, highlighting two methods of geopolymer mastery, one for sandstone megaliths and the other for andesite structures, the focus of our tale. These insights resonate through time, affirming Puma Punku as a sacred hub of geopolymer creation, challenging our understanding. The enigmatic H-blocks, no longer silent, reveal their truths. Brian Foster's analysis of their magnetic resonance unveils a reality beyond traditional beliefs. Their flawless precision stands as a timeless testament, defying the notion of mere stone tools. The veil of doubt crumbles and a new truth arises. These blocks are not products of random chance, but human ingenuity. This cascade of discoveries resonates through time, inviting us to reevaluate what we know. The andesite blocks, once secretive, now disclose evidence that challenges geological understanding, an infusion of organic essence within the stone, speaking a language of life that transcends natural boundaries. This bewildering revelation compels us to reassess not only history, but the very limits of creation itself. The story of Puma Punku is like a puzzle that we're still trying to solve. It's filled with secrets and things that don't make sense to us today. Who built these amazing stone blocks? How did they do it? We don't have all the answers, but we're always looking and learning more. Want to join the adventure and uncover more mysteries? Click subscribe, ring the bell, and take a trip back in time with us. Who knows what we might discover together?